Welcome to the spoken tutorial on admins dashboard in Moodle. In this tutorial, we will learn about various blocks on the admins dashboard, admins profile page, and how to edit preferences. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04. Apache, MariaDB, and PHP obtained through XAM 5.6.30, Moodle 3.3, and Firefox web browser. You may use any web browser of your choice. However, Internet Explorer should be avoided as it causes some display inconsistencies. Learners of this tutorial should have Moodle 3.3 installed on their system. If not, please refer to the relevant Moodle tutorials on this website. Switch to the browser and open your Moodle site. Make sure that the XAMPP service is running. You can see a blank page with only the headers. This is because we have not set any front page for our installation. Click on Login link at the top right corner of the window. Login using your admin username and password that you had given when you installed Moodle. I will enter admin as the username and spoken tutorial 1 at the rate as the password. Then click on Login button. The page that we see now is called the Dashboard. We can see that our Dashboard is divided into two columns. The wider one on the left is the Main Content column. The one on the right is the Blocks column. Blocks are items in these columns that serve a specific purpose or information. Blocks are found on all pages of Moodle. You can think of them as shortcuts to critical parts of your course. For example, private files, online users, course overview, etc. are the blocks on my dashboard. Notice that there are no activities or courses here. This is because we have not created any course yet. A list of all courses will be seen if a user, that is a teacher or student or admin, is enrolled or assigned a role in courses. Also notice that the online users block shows admin user, which is our current login. This block shows all the logged in users at any given point of time. Every block in Moodle has a specific purpose. We can add blocks to any column of any page in Moodle. Let us now look at the header of the page. On the top left corner, we can see a navigation drawer or navigation menu. This helps us to access calendar and other administration links. This is a toggle menu which means it changes its status from open to close and vice versa when clicked. We then have the placeholder for the logo. By default, this is the short site name. Clicking on this will get us to the dashboard from any page. At the top right, there are quick access icons for notifications and messages. Next to that is the drop-down user menu. It is also called the quick access user menu. We will discuss the profile and preferences page in brief in this tutorial. All these menu items are also toggle menus similar to the one on the left. Next click on the profile link. Every user in Moodle has a profile page. It has links 
to allow users to edit their profile information, view their forum or blog posts, check any reports they have access to, and view their access logs and the IP address that was used to log in the last time. Now, let's click on the Edit Profile link. The Edit Profile page opens up. This page is divided into five sections. General, User Picture, Additional Names, Interests, Optional. The General section is expanded by default. Clicking on any section name expands or collapses it. The Expand All link on the right expands all the sections. All fields here are editable. Let's add city, town. I will type Mumbai. Ensure that India is selected in the Select a Country drop-down. And time zone is set to Asia, Kolkata. Only admins can change password from this profile page. Let me add a few fields in the optional section. I will enter IIT Bombay in the institution field. Also, mathematics in department and a valid phone number in the phone number field. Then, click on update profile button to save the page. Now, click on the quick access user menu at the top right again. Click on the Preferences link. The Preferences page gives users quick access to various settings they may wish to edit. Preferences page for an admin account is divided into four sections. User account, roles, blogs and badges. The user account section allows the user to edit profile and change password. It also sets preferences for language, forum, calendar, message, notification, etc. Let's click on the calendar preferences. We will set the calendar to display time in 24-hour format. Also, we will set the upcoming events look ahead to two weeks. This means we'll see notifications for all events happening in the next two weeks on the calendar. I want to highlight the help icon next to all the fields. Clicking on this will open a help box with a short description of what the field stands for. When in doubt about any field, always click on the help icon to understand its significance. Let all the other options remain as they are. Click on Save Changes button. We will go through the rest of the preferences when we discuss those features later in this series. Notice the information here. This is the breadcrumb navigation. It is a visual aid that indicates which page we are on within the Moodle site's hierarchy. It helps us to go back to a higher level page with a single click. Click on the dashboard link in the breadcrumbs to go to the dashboard. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about various blocks on the admins dashboard, admins profile page, and how to edit preferences. Here is a small assignment for you. Click on the message preferences. Users in Moodle can send private messages to each other. I do not want my messages to be delivered as email even when I am offline. Look at the online and offline help box and ensure that the settings are correct. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. 
please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This script has been contributed by Priyanka. And this is Nancy Verki along with the Spoken Tutorial team signing off. Thanks for joining.